Another explosive day in the Jody Arias retrial as both sides battle over what the defense says is destroyed evidence. Arias's lawyers claim evidence of porn was deleted from Travis Alexander's laptop after the police had it, and that's evidence they should have been able to present in court. William Pitts was in court today, and he is live in downtown with more. William? Well, here's the thing to remember about this hearing. It's not about whether or not there was porn or even child porn on that laptop. It's about whether or not the prosecution screwed up and either destroyed or withheld evidence. And this was not a very good day for the prosecution. First up, former Arias attorney Maria Schaefer. She described the day she examined Travis Alexander's laptop. She says Juan Martinez was the only one who used it. And the Mesa police detective was the only one who turned it on. She echoed what she told us in an interview last week. It was physically impossible for us to have altered, deleted, or in any way tampered with the evidence. But when prosecutor Juan Martinez questioned her, it was like he was describing a completely different day. He asked if Schaefer remembered being told it was a bad idea to turn it on. She said no. Next on the stand, computer forensics expert Brian Neumeister. He told the judge he'd found more than 160,000 files having to do with porn on Travis Alexander's computer, even though the prosecution claimed there was none. Neumeister accused the police department of doing bad investigative work, mishandling the evidence, even giving previous investigators bad copies of the laptop's hard drive. In a heated exchange, he told Martinez, you're trying to skip over. There are 160,000 hits of porn on that computer, and you guys said there was none. The data is black and white. It should be black and white. Forensics expert Carl Epps says the laptop should never have been turned on at all because once it is, it's contaminated evidence. In good forensic procedure, you would make a copy before you touched anything to ensure that if something happened to the original, that you still had the evidence. Well, if the defense's expert is right on this, it's a big problem for Mesa PD's evidence handling and prosecutor Juan Martinez's case. Here's the timeline as it was laid out for us today. On June 10th, 2008, Travis Alexander's laptop was turned on and then off again. Defense expert Brian Neumeister said the computer indicates no write blocker was used. A write blocker is a piece of hardware that prevents the hard drive from changing at all, deleting, installing anything. So it was connected to the Internet and started to download programs like iTunes. And Neumeister said when it does this, it overwrites drive space, which changes the evidence. So when it was shut down, it cleared what's called the file cache. That would have shown what the computer was doing. Then it was powered up again on June 19th, one year later. This was in Mesa PD's evidence locker with attorney for both sides in the room. Who turned it on and why is vastly different depending on which side you talk to. Again, no write blocker. This time the computer tries to install those updates it downloaded a year ago and wipes the file cache again when it's turned off. Now we talked to a computer forensic expert who says that laptop should never have been powered up either time. And if it was, even accidentally, it certainly should have come up before now. The first thing that should happen at that point is you should document the machine was accidentally turned on. We accidentally hit the power button. Any number of things can be a reason for that. But you definitely want to bring that up right away. Now, here's two important things to remember with this. First, it doesn't matter really if there's porn on that laptop. It only matters if the evidence was tampered with and the prosecution knew it. Second, and this is big picture, the jury really has no idea any of this is going on. They're back on Monday, but they won't be told anything about this hearing. Live in Phoenix, William Pitts, 12 News.